and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some mono red cavalcade in best of one for our next deck for the win every card challenge that's happening this weekend October 5th through the 7th here on arena where um, you get to play any deck that you want because during the event you will have access to all of the cards uh possible so you know you don't have to worry about only having cards like the cards in your account you'll have be able to access any cards that you want to play and you play best of one and you get one shot and if you win 12 matches before you lose two matches so that's how it works if you win 12 games before you lose two games then you win one copy of every single card for your arena account so that's a cool event that's going on this weekend and so to help prepare Everybody for that, we're going to be trying out five different decks here today for options to be able to play in that. We tried Golgari Aggro first. It didn't look um, too great. Didn't do too great with that. But we got four other decks that we're going to be playing here for that. Uh, other decks that we could see. Um, <laughs> hey, Radical. Other decks that we could see doing well. As you can tell, we're, we got a lot of proactive decks here. I think that being proactive is a good thing to be doing there in a best of one. And this deck is the definition of proactive. So we got Mono Red Cavalcade. It looks like our three drop slot is really, really full here, but hopefully Light of the Stage and Skewer the Critics only cost one mana, hopefully, for us. Um, but yeah, all we're trying to do is, is get these small creatures, one power or less, in play and attack with them because Cavalcade of Calamity, our important enchantment, says that whenever we have our creature with power one or less attack it'll do one damage to the player or planeswalker that creature is attacking so you know we definitely have a really aggressive deck here new cards i'm playing fervent champion over other one drops um, because like the other one drops because it has haste uh, i want my my one mana one one to have haste um, ginger brute we were just talking about is a colorless one drop with haste where if you're playing this deck on like a, a limited account, like where you don't want to make, you know, craft two rares for Fervent Champion, Ginger Brood is going to be basically as good. The only reason why I'm going Fervent Champion over it is because of Torbrand. I think that's that's like the main reason there, just basically because of Torbrand giving uh, it's a red source that it can be a 3-1 first strike attacking with Torbrand in play. Speaking of Torbrand, that's another new card. So all of our red sources deal an additional two damage. This card is so powerful. So Cavalcade, trick whenever it triggers, it does three damage to each, uh, or sorry, three damage to the player that you're attacking for each trigger. Um, and then all of your cards basically have two power, two extra power. All of your creatures because they're uh, dealing another two damage. Um, so yeah, Torbrand is really really powerful. So we'll see if four four drops is too many. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that we can get by with 4-4 four, four drops because I really like Scampering Scorger. I think this is an underrated card, uh, especially with you know triggering cavalcades and you know being three different creatures that are attacking. I think this is a really underrated card. For those of y'all that know the deck, of course, the Chandra Spitfire is one of our most powerful things as well. Uh, being able to be a flying creature that for each cavalcade trigger gives it plus three, plus zero, we can win some games out of nowhere for sure with this card. But all right, this is our deck. Let's get some burn in here. So we're gonna be playing some ranked matches. We're gonna play like seven matches with the decks today. Um, you know, so we can get a good odd number of matches. See if we go four, three, five, two, six, one. You know, see how we can do with these different decks. Two, five, four, Golgari Aggro. Could have been better. All right, but we'll try this. We're going to hope our Fervent Champion can get that uh, damage in on turn two so we can get to light the stage. That's a cool little quick animation for Fervent Champion. Ugh. Gross. All right, well, if I had Ginger Brute. So I have the third mana. 
So I don't have to worry about like shock them plus cast light up the stage to look for a third mana. We're good there. Man, rough life out there for a 1-1. One, one. Against O2s. And O threes. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. Surely you must be famished. Yeah, this is really rough. Oko's already at six loyalty. It makes these foods that are just going to gain a lot of life, too. Oko is really good. Remember this one? I can't leave Oko at five or more loyalty because they can just trade a food token for a Spitfire. That's nothing I really want. It's definitely considering just playing the castle and just attacking with the two. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. I am not First, happy right being now. able to have the Castle Empress. There's Cavalcade. This is not even going to trigger. Yeah, th this should kill Loco. There we go. All right, so they only have one card. Oko is down. And we have Spitfire Cavalcade. Yeah, our 20 land deck is not supposed to draw six lands. In 13 cards. That's not supposed to happen. But, you know. Life doesn't always go according to plan. That was a good draw. So, uh, two, four triggers of this is 12. And then 13, 14. They're at 18, and they can gain life with that thing. Yeah, we gotta take out the Oko. You're a tricksy one. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Uh, 
Yeah, I could activate castle. It just doesn't do anything. I don't mm. see the reason to. Too close-minded. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they did not elk the Spitfire. I'm glad they didn't just crack that before they drew to get a land out of their deck before they drew. That hurts. Okay. Torbrand's a real card. Alright, do I attack with Fervent Champion now? I don't think I do. Attacking with the Fervent Champion makes it so attacking with Ferocious Hydra is pretty easy for my opponent. Like, they can attack back with Hydra, but now not attacking. Oh, come on. Never mind. We're dead by one damage here. We're not dead. But why didn't they attack with the 3 3? It was lethal. It was lethal if they attacked with the 3 3. I, mean, I don't think we can still win through these two food tokens. We need an act of treason. To take the crisis. No, they they were at ten life. They they weren't at four. They were at ten life. Another haste creature was not lethal. Scampering scourger would not have done it anyway, right? Could they have four blockers? Yeah, they had four blockers. Two, four, six, eight. No, so yeah, scampering scourger wouldn't have even done it. I think we can keep this. Yeah. <clears throat> I I kind of went with like the aggro theme today also. But yeah, the deck the the deck that I've that I 
you know, play that kind of that I thought felt the strongest so far. Just regular standard deck. You know, that we played on Thursday was the Sim was Simic Ramp and Oko is just so busted. Probably should have, yeah, I should have added an Oko deck to our list of decks here. Oko is just so busted. I kind of just want to hit two lands with this light at the stage. Never mind. Never mind. I don't, yeah, I don't know anything about that, good brother. I don't know. I'll protect you. <laughs> our deck needs more lands. Because last game, six of our 13 cards were lands. <laughs> just... but yeah, this is just... This is how magic is sometimes. Just think, what's the best card my opponent could have? Dovin's Veto? Okay, next turn. What's the best card they could have? Legion's End? Got it. Oh, I've done what's the next best card they could have for three mana and nothing else on board? Teferi? Okay, they have it. Or right, we play a creature. So what's the best card they could have? Othakaya? Yep, they got it. Sometimes you just lose. You know what's better than having a plan? Don't worry. I brought company. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. Yeah, sure. If I would have expected my my turn to light up the stage to get countered, then yeah, I would have mulliganed the one lander. Don't know how often I'm burnt out. you see counter spells held up on turn two, but there was one. Phase you out of time? I don't care, Teferi. You can do whatever you want. I've got it. This is hardly my worst defeat. I don't want to attack Teferi again because of the Oath of Kaya. Down to 14. Still five cards in hand that don't think any of them are lands because I think they missed a land drop in there as well.
No light poner, I haven't. I think there's an option to mute planeswalkers. I think like uh, game sounds or something. Like it's not just specifically planeswalkers, but other game sounds as well. Yeah, Dragon Lord, you'd have to you have to really build around um, both fires and arc bow, but you could you could definitely put those two cards together. You could have fires and arc bow together. Um, kind of the power of fires of invention is that you get to play really powerful spells. I don't know if there's like you know that many good creatures that you really want to go with fires. There's of course Agent of Treachery is one for sure. You want spell like creatures definitely. We are on the play, but what are these Spitfires really doing for us? Probably one in the game. As a terrible once upon a time. Don't don't once upon a time on your opponent's turn like that. Just don't do it. If you if you're playing once upon a time, just never do what my opponent did right there. Just draw your card first. You know if you know if you're planning on playing Pelt Collector on turn one, so you want to once upon a time before. Um before that, that's okay, but just draw your card first. Just have more information before you make your decision. I'm not killing these Pulp Collectors. My plan is to play Spitfire, and then Spitfire, and then they're dead on turn 5. That's my plan here. You know, going shock and skewer upstairs and just killing them. Because let's see, next turn, it's 6, 12, 15, 17, 18, 19. So yeah, it's 19 damage next turn with just the Shock and Skewer. So there we go, GG. Why are you not attacking with Robber of the Rich? What are we doing here? I guess you want a haste want to be able to block a haste creature. Oh, that thing has reach. Right. That thing has reach, huh? Well, that changes my life. I completely forgot that that card had reach.
I can't. I I don't think I can beat the questing beast. <clears throat> yep, it's all good, Montana. You live, you learn, you move on. <laughs> RDL. Well, I had a plan. My plan did not take into consideration uh, the keyword reach. I could have had a different plan, I suppose. <clears throat> okay, I am planning on tapping out for the next few turns, so we'll try a different approach. We'll try shocking that thing. Because we're going to be playing Cavalcade, and then I was going to be playing Spitfire. Now I can play another Cavalcade. GG. I think that's my best my best uh, card to play here. Didn't we just just hear this song earlier? The next one. Okay. Hmm. I can't just take this forever. Now that's a good card.
<laughs> if I attack all, I'm taking that's attack all, I die. I just they just take it. This is four. This is fourteen damage if I attack all, and they just take it and can attack me for six. If I attack with the fervent champions, then I have to have war boss block harpooner. But if I attack with the fervent champions though, and they take it, it's two or the, you know they block here, so they take these. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. The the problem is just like if I do attack with you know if they just go like land voracious hydra kill your war boss you're dead. So like that's like that's like the problem is land voracious hydra, or or yeah questing beast. I'm just gonna send here, and we have the two first strikers back. Really good blocking. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, we can't tackle. We won. We won. All right, I felt like I played that game a lot better. And we barely won because our opponent was stuck on two lands for a little while. Yeah, I may, I may do that, L Luto. Yeah, I may do that. I may make this a, a weekly thing. I know there are a lot of best one players out there. as well. Doesn't look very good for us at all. If we were on the play, would it looked a lot better? Like if we played Spitter on turn one, they play Collector, we attack with Spitter and then play these other two. You know, it's, it's kind of thing about best of one being on play or draw is really important. It's okay, Matthew. I don't know if I'm out racing that. We're definitely going to try. We just did eight damage. Another cavalcade would only add three damage, so it would not be lethal. A Chandra would add four damage. So a Chandra would be lethal. Now I presume that they would have something to play in their hand though. But if they have all four drops and five drops and then attack out and we draw a land, we have lethal. <laughs> it's probably not very likely that that's gonna that all that stuff's gonna happen. I don't I don't know what a gruel fires deck is, Koth.
Well, if we would have drawn a land. Need to draw a land. Uh, yeah, need a land for Chandra. So our, we just have to go light up the stage and have light up the stage hit shock plus land or or haste creature land. Ah, uh, we hit the land, but not the haste creature. We need another shocker or haste creature. And cal Cavalcade with dealt three. So one point off there. We need to draw a land for Chandra. So we had outs. We had outs there, but got stuck on two lands, unfortunately. We just need a third land. We were on the play. Would have been able to win that also. Like I like that was that was definitely a, a who was on the play, who was on the draw as we talked about. Like just like the the first couple of turns would have been so much better for us if we were on the play. That previous game, we are on the play here. Hmm. So I know that thing doesn't block the Fervent Champion well, and maybe I should just attack with the Fervent Champion and see if they block, and if they don't, shock it. But I, I don't like that they can just pay one mana, remove the counter, kill my Fervent Champion. Um, you know, I just don't, I don't want to trade Fervent Champion for Chamber Sentry. I'd rather trade Shock for it, because over a couple of turns, this Champion could potentially do more damage. Keeps me All right, and now this two two this two two is not that valuable though because it doesn't it doesn't profitably block champion or dodger and they it doesn't have a a way you know they don't have like a way to use the 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 serpent to kill the champion so like they could definitely have like a they could have just played like a third land and played another like a three three serpent and so I wanted to have the shock available to to team up with first strike against against that for that scenario. All right, well, I'm definitely killing Emery. I can't let them just recast their artifacts with Emery.
It's a one-time thing. Envo. I'm keeping the castle to be able to, to double pump these fervent champions to be able to block like this four power stone coil serpent if they're trying to race. Maybe that's just a mistake that I should have just activated it and dealt two damage, you know, dealt one extra damage here. This, this means that they can't attack right now. This is really bad for me. The Steel Overseer Chamber Sentry combo. Is that, yeah, at least that taps it. Yeah, we could certainly use a Cavalcade. That'd be nice. How does our opponent's deck defeat like regular decks? I need to start remembering things that have reach. I forgot about the serpent having reach. I wanted to put pressure on them before Chamber Century Steel Overseer would be able to to do more than what it did. At least the Chamber Sentry's out of here. That Chamber Sentry was going to just mow down all my creatures over time with the help of the Steel Overseer. So at least they blocked with that thing and got that out of here. Pretty tough. Pretty really tough one to beat. All right, but yeah, with the chamber sentry out of there, our dodger gets to get gets to get some damage in there again. But yeah, Alayla has life link. 
So I'm not really out racing that. student Yeah, I think I think that's like really kind of my only thing to do here is flash back to slide up the stage. Uh, even though Chandra dies now to a Lila, a Layla. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. We kind of have no shot. Cavalcade, Torbran, like you know, like we need we need our, our high end cards with Cavalcade, Torbran, stuff like that. What's up, Thompson? Thank you so much for the sub there. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know anything about that banner. Interesting. They're just gonna have one blocker for Spitfire. Oh, that thing has trample. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. Uh. Gosh, these are new cards. You know, it's it's still just new card. You know, first time playing against these new cards. No, I've never, I mean, I know I've read, you know, obviously I've read Stone Coil Serpent a lot, but I still have never played against it. If that thing has, tr I just don't know why I'm not dead then. If they, that thing has trample, why have they not killed me? Like, seriously, like, how am I not dead? It pulsates in the combat phase. I'm supposed to know that does anything. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been dead for, like, the last, like, five or six turns. The thing had trample. But oh well. We have 0% chance of winning. That's why I conceded. And I don't... I don't want to continue playing whenever we have 0% chance of winning. I would rather go on to the next match. But of course, they, they even have you know, the ginger... The ginger foods to gain life as well. How was I not like what? What could possibly happen for me to win that?
Well, our, our opponent had played pretty well there, especially staying alive. Like, they'd played well. A light up? No. Do we go to five? See, like, this gets rid of Scourger. We have a couple one-drops, Cavalcade, Spitfire. <laughs> I thought Serpent was a defender since they weren't attacking with it. Looks like everybody's saying keep. Can't really go any worse for us. Than what it has been going recently. These O2s have really hurt us. O2s and O3s. These green decks are playing on turn one and turn two, like. It's definitely hurt us. I'm getting the scor the scourge spitter in in uh, in play. right now. lands. Nope. Hmm. You would make an I think you will find my notes helpful. I honestly don't don't know how we can win this. <laughs> I guess this is why I don't ever see people play mono red anymore. I said, man, this is really rough. Yeah, I mean the bird stops us. They can just they probably just minus and grab crisis. Crisis stops me. All right, good night, Marias. The past is never forgotten. All right. So what I have to say about cavalca mono red cavalcade here is that Simic looks pretty unbeatable between 
like Oko is a nightmare. Hydroid Crisis, kind of everything. Um, what's up, Samuel? Our burn spell, yeah, like the problem with our deck is our removal is is just a joke. Just playing, f f you know, some shocks, like four shocks. We have a couple of skewers in here, but even skewer is like really hard to to trigger and 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 uh, two and three damage just aren't, isn't killing stuff these days. Um, and yeah, like obviously our, our one ones aren't aren't good enough. The three drops, you know, like there's they put in reach on a lot of cards to stop Spitfire. Yeah, I don't don't know if I'll be playing this deck again anytime soon. That was not really an enjoyable experience. It's unfortunate. I think standard is better whenever there is a good red deck, and. I, I think the standard is better when there is, you know, good, you know, good decks that you can put together that that aren't just full of rares and mythics. Um, but that's that was pretty rough. That was a rough league, and that's disappointing there. Um, yeah, I know another thing that I've been wanting to do for the next couple of days is I was going to put together like budget decks, like, you know, decks with a whole lot of commons and uncommons and stuff. But, you know, like how, how this deck played out and just, you know, like while I was playing that, I was thinking about how other decks with commons and uncommons are supposed to be trying to fight, you know, like Oko and, and, um, and Questing Beast and all, you know, like th those kind of stuff. It's tough. That's tough for sure. Uh, this is, this is definitely a, a, a lot of rares and, and mythics in this metagame even like as we've seen before we were talking about kind of the other day with our soul tie deck that we played yesterday the soul tie versus gruel is just just all rares and mythics back and forth everywhere um so i'm not exact because i know like i've had a lot of y'all on, on youtube they're reaching out uh, people asking for like budget decks and things like that to, to put together um the free to play players and it's tough. I'll have to, you know, I'll I'll still work on it and everything, but that was disheartening. How mono red did, because that's usually a deck that that you could kind of go that way, because you know, fervent champion can can you know be a, a common like that doesn't that doesn't have to be a rare, and war boss can be replaced, as well honestly, and so like beside besides that, you're kind of just looking at like Chandra and Torben. Um, but yeah, that was, that was rough. Um, Golgari Adventures is pretty budget friendly. It, it is, it is, it is like, I know like Murderous Rider right away came to mind as a rare, but I'm not exactly sure, um, what else you have or need there. But yeah, that, that's one there. Um, oh, you're welcome, WQ. You're welcome. Okay, so we're still in search for a deck that we want to play for that win every card challenge. Um, you know, I put up all aggro decks here today to start with, and I regret not putting up a Simic deck, <laughs> but or like a, a Simic Oko deck, a deck with Oko and everything. But we'll move on. We're going to try some Simic Flash, Azorius Skies, and Gruel Aggro, see how those three feel. So far, not so good, but we got three more decks to play. So if you're watching on YouTube um check out those decks as well and let me know in the comments what you think of these uh this format and everything and, and what you're doing in best of one uh right now what what you're having success with and everything but there we go thank you so much for watching some mono red cavalcade and i'll see you for the next video